we are going to teach you how to do magic. How to manifest anything that you want in your life. You can be, do or have anything that you want. Loving relationships, perfect health, great prosperity. And the person who is going to tell you exactly how to do that has impeccable credentials. He's manifested all of this in his own life and he's also given his fans and there are millions worldwide exact tools that have taken their lives to a whole new level of possibility. Who doesn't know Deepak Chopra? He is one of India's most high profile and best selling brands with followers that include half of Hollywood's A-list. His books on spirituality and human potential linger on and on on the bestseller lists everywhere. His latest book, Buddha, was recently released in India. He says it's probably the book he loves most. say this like everyone else I'd heard and read a lot about Deepak Chopra but the hype often denies you access to the real person. Deepak turned out to be much more real and much more fun than I had expected. There's nothing fuddy-duddy about him. Stay tuned and you'll know exactly what I mean. in your own life are you now? In my own life I am uh, consider myself to be in the autumn of my life. I think every season is very uh, significant in life and every season is beautiful. You know there's a Chinese poem which says uh, spring flowers and summer breezes and autumn leaves and winter snows. If you're awake this is the best season of your life. I can say um, too many things, uh, been there, done that, um, in quotes, and, you know, for example, I can look at my 15 years ago desire for fame and fortune to be not so significant anymore. Uh, I'm mostly right now concerned with uh, creating a foundation, uh, it's called Alliance for a New Humanity. We have global communities that we're building, um, non-profits, and they're about uh, seva, service, satsang, getting together, and simran, and remembering our spiritual uh, nature. A lot of your writings are designed or written in a way that they become almost tools in the hands of a reader. Is that consciously done? I, you know, I'm a map maker. I like to make maps. But I recognize that the map is not the territory. Because of my medical training, I also tend to be prescriptive. Actually, some people criticize that. Uh, you talk a lot about wealth consciousness in your books. What do you mean when you say wealth consciousness? People confuse money with wealth. Money is a symbol. It's a piece of paper or it's a statement on an account. It's a symbol of where you are in terms of abundance, but specifically defined as material abundance. So money is a symbol. Wealth, on the other hand, is a state of consciousness. Wealth is a state of consciousness that says that the nature of the universe is that it's abundant, it's extravagant, it's even wasteful, it's uh, affluent, uh, in every seed there is the promise of thousands of forests and uh, when you look at nature she is lavish in her giving and in her abundance because nature is the womb of creation and she creates with infinite diversity. Now, if I have that state of consciousness and I can relate to that and if the elements and forces in my consciousness are in harmony with the elements and forces 
of nature, then I have a state which can be called wealth consciousness. This is interesting because you're saying expand from uh, wealth consciousness as meaning something financial to something to abundance as encompassing everything, good health, good friendships, a good family absolutely. life, all of absolutely. that. Absolutely, all the various um, you know, human needs that we have, love, belongingness, um, a sense of uh, higher consciousness, uh, the ability to fulfill worthy goals uh, and uh, having a sense of connection to the creative source of the universe.